Welcome to the spoken tutorial on search places and measure distances. In this tutorial, we will learn about search places, place information data sheet, measure the distance between two places. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04, Marble version 1.8.3. The process demonstrated in this tutorial is identical in Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04, Marble version 2.2.20. To practice this tutorial, learner should be familiar with Marble interface. For the prerequisite Marble tutorials, please visit this site. We have already learned about different panels in Marble. We will learn how to search places using the search panel. In the search panel, we can see a search box. Search box has a binocular icon with drop-down arrow button. Click on the down arrow button to show global search and area search. By default, global search is selected. Let us enter the name of a place in the search box to find its location on the map. We will search for China on the map. Type China in the search box. When we type the alphabet C, all the places starting with C appear below the search box. Now select China from the list. Press enter key on the keyboard. Notice that a crosshair appears on the location of China on the map. If crosshair option is not activated on your interface, go to view menu and check crosshairs option. Let us zoom in and navigate to China. After finding the location on the map, left click on its label. Place information datasheet appears on the screen. On the top of this datasheet, name and flag of the country are shown. Next we have coordinates table. This table shows information about longitude, latitude and elevation of a place. Below the table we have short description. In the short description, a brief history about the country is given. Data sheet has a scroll bar to scroll to the bottom of the sheet. Let us scroll down to the bottom. Now we have fact sheet table. It shows population and area of the country. I will scroll up the data sheet. Click on the close button to close the data sheet. To clear the search history, click on the clear button in the search box. I will zoom out to go back to the default view on the map. Let us search for Mount Everest. I will type Mount Everest in the search box. When we start typing Mount, a list of mountains appears below the search box. Select Mount Everest from the list. Press Enter key on the keyboard. Mount Everest is shown on the map. Left click on its label to show Place Information Data Sheet. Let us close this data sheet. An assignment for you. Find the location of Russia on the map. Show its place information data sheet on the map. Next we will learn how to measure the distance between two places on the map. Let us find the distance between Mumbai and Chennai. I will zoom in and locate Mumbai on the map. Then right click on its location. A context menu appears on the globe. Select add measure points option. A white plus sign appears on the location of Mumbai. Next locate Chennai. Right click on its label. Context menu appears again. Select add measure points option. A red line connecting 
Mumbai and Chennai is shown on the map. The distance between Mumbai and Chennai is shown as 1020.5 kilometers. This value may slightly change while you are measuring. Total distance between these two places is also shown below the overview map. To remove the measure points, right click on the map. Context menu appears. Select Remove Measure Points option. Now, we do not see the measure points for Mumbai and Chennai. An assignment for you. Find the distance between Pune and Hyderabad on the map. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt about search places, place information data sheet, Measure the distance between two places. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries on this forum. Spoken tutorial project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This is Vijay Nair from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.